Gen Z is canceling Eminem? Hello, I'm Only Jax, and today we're talking about Gen Z versus Eminem. I've been seeing this uh, on TikTok and Instagram. There's like this group of millennials or millennials as a whole are making videos like, oh, oh, honey, Gen Z is trying to cancel Eminem. Uh, I, sit the fuck down. Um, oh, honey. Oh, oh, what? It's always, oh, honey. Oh, hon I fucking, I don't understand why they're like that. Oh, they have no idea what's coming. They have no idea. Like, listen to Kim, listen to the way I am, listen to kill you. But if you've seen this on your feed and not understood it either, this is the video for you. I put on my community tab, I asked the question, have you actually seen any Gen Z trying to cancel Eminem? And and 98% of you have said uh, no. And then in the comments, it's like, no one cares what Eminem is doing. And that's kind of what I thought. Houdini came out. I kind of liked Houdini. It was an okay song. But I was certainly curious to get to the bottom of this whole Gen Z canceling Eminem thing and figure out, is it actually happening? So let's give you some background. So this whole cancel Eminem thing kind of got started around 2020, 2021, when someone on TikTok pulled up some lyrics from Eminem and Rihanna's Love The Way You Lie, where he talks about how if Eminem's girl were to ever leave her, uh, he would tie her up to a bed and set the house on fire. The original TikTok, I think, has since been deleted, so this information comes from a Unilad article. But the TikToker or TikTokers in question had said something to the tune of, we should cancel Eminem for this. Can you guys believe that Eminem has lyrics that are offensive? Oh my gosh, not my Slim Shady. In Eminem's defense, I could see myself committing some uh, heartbreak arson homicide. Seems kind of based, if you ask me. This whole thing got a bunch more traction when a TikTok user by the name of Cassie Bassett 607 posted her uh, diss track towards Gen Z's on TikTok. And it's, uh, it's something. It's certainly something. Gen Z's trying to cancel Eminem? Honey, that's cute. Listen, little kitties, let me make this quite clear. This man was around even before you were here. So what, you're all mad because the man was a lyricist while all your rappers are a mumbling gibberish? No, go ahead and shut your mouth. Better yet, go and sit your ass in time out because boy was running laps even before you could walk. Hell, boy was spitting balls even before you could talk. So no, I'm afraid you're null in, boy, dear. I'm afraid your opinion don't matter here because one day you'll grow up and see how everyone went and forgot about Z. I mean, it's as millennial as it gets. I feel like millennials actually did in high school have like dance battles and like rap battles and shit. And like, you know, it's cool, I guess. Yes, I, I certainly was not comfortable in my body while watching this. And I certainly wasn't comfortable in my body while watching this one. Now listen up, Gen Z, cause I've had enough of it. This whole cancel culture. Damn, y'all are so sensitive. At first I ignored it, but now you crossed the line by going after a very dear friend of mine. You wanna cancel Eminem cause he's too aggressive and mean. Your feelings are hurt, you wish his lyrics were more clean. And I don't know why millennial videos always look like that. No hate, cause let's be real, millennials on social media walk so us Gen Zers could run. Why do, why, why? Why are they all stuck in 2010? Someone explain this to me. But after this little incident, the whole Gen Z's trying to cancel Eminem thing kind of seemed to go away. Until, however, Eminem released Houdini. With the release of Houdini, the whole Gen Z's trying to cancel Eminem thing seems to be back in full swing. But what this video is really about is a line on one of M's new tracks. It's more of an interlude track between two songs called Trouble, where the line is, uh, you gonna cancel me, yeah? Gen Z me, bruh? So like I said, I asked you guys on my community page, if you've actually seen any Gen Z try to cancel Eminem. And uh, the answer was resoundingly no. This excludes Twitter though. Twitter's not exactly a uh, reliable source for who's getting canceled and who's not. You got zoo files on Twitter who would cancel me for calling them out. So I mean, take that what you will. Don't go on Twitter. It's my opinion, however, that Eminem, his whole social media team and anyone involved is in on the joke. They know Gen Z's not trying to cancel Eminem. And I mean, let's be real. The Slim Shady LP came out the year I was born. The Marshall Mathers LP the year after. Recovery came out when I was in middle school. Crack a bottle, let your body waddle. No, that wasn't recovery, hold on. No, that was relapse. No, relapse was crack a bottle. Don't act like a snobby model, you just hit the lotto. Oh. Anyway, that came out when I was in middle school. And the Marshall Mathers LP2 came out when I was in high school. And that shit slapped, dude. Eminem basically raised Gen Z. So why would we be canceling him? We we know, we, we knew about him. He's been around, we know what he does. Eminem throughout his entire career has been very uh, in the know with pop culture. So I'm extremely doubtful that he's actually thinking Gen Z's trying to cancel him. Sometimes I wonder what the old me say. If what? But I don't know. I could be wrong. I've, I've been wrong about these things in the past sometimes. Not really, but I've been. It's been I've been wrong. Just kidding. My best guess is, kind of like I said, a few Zoomers tried to cancel Eminem over nothing. It was li literally two people. These millennial girls did their diss tracks and it became something of a meme. When Houdini came out, the kind of meme was back, but millennials are 
the current age boomers and just clearly don't get the meme. And, and they certainly don't know when to stop. But Houdini comes out, millennials preemptively swing in uh, Gen Z's direction. And uh, that's what's leading to the current confusion. No one's trying to cancel Eminem. Eminem's fine. He knows this. And I'm pretty sure in the track, it's Slim Shady who's saying that. So no one's trying to cancel Eminem. If anything, they're trying to cancel Slim Shady. But either way, I'm, I'm not sure what it is with millennials. Um, they like to do this thing where they dismiss Gen Z, uh, us, us Zoomers, um, as if we're not the cooler younger sibling. And that's not to say that we don't have our fair share of cringe. I mean, but like, I would argue that in terms of cringiness, they're beating us by a mile. They're far more cringy than we are. I saw this post on Instagram that I can't help but um, agree with. It seems like the based generations give birth to the base generations. It's like millennials ask yourself, why are you behaving in such a boomer-like fashion? It's because you learned that shit from your parents. You learned it by watching them, all right? Who taught you how to do this stuff? You, all right? I learned it by watching you. Parents who use drugs have children who use drugs. But it, it seems it seems to make sense though. You got your boomer ass parents, and that's why you guys first you don't quite understand meme culture, which is weird because you guys invented it. But I think that's like it with all things. Like they invented it, we kind of perfected it. Our kids are gonna make it even better. But like look at look at it, look at it. Boomers have millennial kids, millennials have Gen Alpha kids, and everyone fucking hates Gen Alpha. Everyone fucking hates millennials, and everyone fucking hates boomers. So what do we do about this? We exterminate all. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, it's fine. I think I think we need to be nice. I think we need to be nice to our millennials, uh, elders. Uh, we need to keep them comfortable in their old age as uh, they transition in, into diapers, uh, because at the end of the day, they can't help themselves. And the best we can do as Zoomers is to uh, keep them comfortable, keep them out of pain, and just uh, let them do their thing, and they will eventually go away anyway that's it for me uh sorry i wasn't talking about uh predators or sketch leaks today or people having sex with animals but what are you gonna do uh this one it was really bugging me for the last couple days uh but if you like what we got here subscribe uh follow me on twitter follow me on instagram i got all my links in my bio um i want to say thank you guys i officially have reached status to join partially the youtube partner program and uh i feel like it's way too early for all that i feel but but i but i feel blessed and you guys have been great um, but until next time, uh, don't be a millennial, I guess. You made it to the end of the video, you should subscribe, or maybe just leave a like. Leave a comment if you please, but I'd rather you subscribe. I check that shit like every day, and when that subscriber number goes up, well, my heart goes up to the sky. When you 